Hi, my name is Alex Carlich with GustinShow.com. I want to talk to you about non-QM loans and why we take you to non-QM loans. So first off, non-QM loan means it's a non-qualifying mortgage. So it doesn't have to fit the rules that Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and FHA put on these loans. They don't have to follow all these silly rules. So they can just come up with their own parameters that uh, they don't, they're not going to be selling to Fannie Mae. So they, for example, if you have six lates in the last 12 months, no one's going to do that loan except the non-QM. So that's one reason why we take you there. Or you can't show your income because you write too much off on your tax returns, so you'll use bank statements instead of your tax returns. That's another reason we go non-QM. Or if you're doing investment property, you don't want to show bank statements or income, you can buy an investment property with just purely the rent covering the mortgage payment. So those are the three main reasons why I'm using non-QM loans. Again, for lates on your mortgage, um, having to show bank statements instead of tax returns, or buying investment properties with no income whatsoever. Whatsoever. Um, other reasons are if you have a foreclosure in the last three years or two years, you can't go FHA or conventional, you can go non QM. If you have a bankruptcy one year ago and it's a Chapter 7, you can't go anywhere except non QM. Now they're going to charge you for the, the higher rates and they're going to charge you with, with more down payment money. So there's, there's, there's a caveat to going non QM, it's not 3% down with the really super low rate. So keep that in mind. Now, guidelines for non QM loans are credit score driven. So if you get the lower your credit score is the more down payment you need. So I'm not going to give you the exact breakdown, but let's say you're at a 660 and you're doing a bank statement loan, you could do 10% down and using your bank statements as income. If you have a 650, you might need 15% down. If you have a below 620, you might need 20% down uh, for the bank statement program. So keep that in mind. Now one of the things that they have is they, they want to see your rent history and mortgage history. They, they really, really require that on most of these loans. Now if you foreclose, obviously you weren't paying your mortgage, that's okay. They're going to price that but if you were paying in a mortgage they want to make sure um, you paid it on time and what your payment is and if you're renting they actually have to verify rental history you have to have two trade lines open for one year each so you can't have very little credit you have to have sufficient credit some of my non qm lenders want three trade lines for one year each open so keep that in mind that's a that's a stickler that gets me a lot of times I'm like all excited I got a loan and I look closer the dates opened of their credit cards and it's not enough not sufficient enough very few exceptions on that so another thing with nine QM sometimes you'll the program will require 15% down and they'll make exceptions so if the range is 620 to 660 credit score and you got a 659 and the down payments 15% below 660 but 10% above 660 you can get an exception sometimes for that one point credit report as long as you got other assets or something that you know to show that why why should we let you you know go through this with not having the 660 so the nine QM lenders will make exceptions where other banks really don't do that they're pretty cut and dry so those are those are the basic skinny and how non QM loans work if you got any questions give me a call we do this all day long remember anything horrible happen in you that stop you from doing Fannie Mae FHA or Freddie Mac give me a call the nine QM will save the day we specialize it here my phone number 630-915-7550. Please subscribe. Thanks.